Okay, y'all, the holidays are fastly approaching. Every year, people go home to their relatives to spend the holiday season with them. And every year, people arrive happy and leave mad. So today, I'm gonna go over with you some you should know better common sense slash etiquette rules to live by to help avoid the family dramatics. Let's go ahead and get started. If they do not like people eating in their living room, don't. If they don't like people parking on their grass, don't. If you know they don't believe in people who are unmarried sharing the same bedroom and you're thinking about asking them if you can bring your boyfriend Tyrone with you, don't. Get you a room at the Quality Inn. The rates are about $109 a night. Well, better yet, why don't you just marry Tyrone? But I'm going to digress on that one. Just because you are nasty at home doesn't mean you can be nasty over to their house. Make your bed, pick up your trash, clean your mess. If they don't like animals, do not bring Chi Chi the Chihuahua with you. Call a count. If your kids are bad, don't get mad if Auntie Pearlie swat them on behind and make them sit down somewhere if they go to acting the food. Do not put your scaly feet all on their couch if you know they don't like it. Don't nobody want to be dealing with your foot skin all on the surface. Mm -mm. If dinner starts at 12, be on time. Do not come over drunk or hot. All you gonna do is scare the kids and make grandma cry. Tell your whiny bratty kids not to be coming in the kitchen 14, 11 million times asking if we can eat yet. Tell your whiny bratty husband do not be coming into the kitchen asking 14, 11 million times if we can eat yet. Do not come into the kitchen with your whiny bratty self asking 14, 11 million times is it time to eat yet? If you are staying with them for free and they ask you to go to the store to pick up some eggs for the sweet potato pie, go. You're not paying for a hotel room. They're saving you a lot of money. You can afford those $2 that it's going to cost in gas to go down there to the store and get some eggs. Do not treat the host and family like they're your maids and butlers. Offer to help with the cooking and helping to keep the house clean and in order. Y'all know some of us have smaller houses. It gets hot and crowded and thick up in there real quick. It's hard not to cop an attitude when you got a house full of people all up in the place and little run run sticky hands been all over your wall and you got Uncle Leroy slobbing all over the couch that you just paid off from the bad cock. If dinner is over and you're noticing that the host is sitting away somewhere in the corner and all of a sudden she's just stopped talking and she looking at you, that means she ready for y'all to go home. And before you leave, please remember to tell them how much you love them and thank them for all of their hospitality. Families aren't as tight as they used to be. But then that's because we've forgotten to do one key thing with each other, and that's respect. You can tell me all day long how much you love me, but if your actions don't follow suit, your love don't mean a thing. For some reason, we have a tendency to treat outsiders better than we do our own blood. There was a time when blood was thicker than water. Now, not so much. But that doesn't mean that we can't be the change that we would like to see in others. So if you say that you love your family, prove it. Don't just love them, respect them. 